Welcome back everyone. We continue playing the close fun. We'll see what they ask me to tell you where today. Where is left off? Ah this not the piece though. <laughs> We are going away from the city? We don't like the city. Not really, Camus. We're just going through to the vents below. It won't be like home? I don't think so. Is it dangerous? We're trying to save these people from starving, Camus. I think they'll be glad to see us. It's worth the risk. Do you think this is nice food for the people? I think it's all they're getting, and I'm surprised they're getting it. I hope they like it. Me too, Camus. be the same oh what Bumpers. Okay, so now I have the better cars, so I spent some money on it. 
to upgrade, so yeah, why yeah, not? we'll see. Anathon and uh, I actually know what this does, but yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yes, please. What's the difference? So there's a pipe leading out of the city and no one guarding it, nothing like the zero gate. Delivery stooge. I'm from Cloudpunk. I have your packages. Those are no use to me. I can't deliver to the outposts anymore. None of so our vehicles work. The fuel the lines test. froze. You should keep your engine running. Did you get that, Camus? Yes. I will keep a couple clock cycles free and monitor the temperatures. How do you live here? It's so cold. What do you care? I asked, didn't I? Whatever. Just leave the packages here. Go back to your city. It's not my city. city. Sure it is. You yeah, took this not... job because you were curious, right? No. Welcome to your poverty, Safari. This is our life. I'm not even from the city. The Eastern Peninsula? Yeah, Up until last week. See. I see. Sorry. I thought you were just another Nivali. My name's Retsu. Rania. Cora knows what you must think of the big stack. That's what we call the city down here. Beast. It's the worst place on the planet. And we cling to the bottom like barnacles. And you know what? It's a hell of a lot better down here. We made this place a kind of home. You've been yeah, here a while? Don't have any rules here. Yeah, I wasn't but the first. Old Zeke traveled out here over a hundred years ago. He set up the first moisture farm, collecting heat for his home from the vents. Folk had tried to live here before him, but he was the first to realize you couldn't live on rations alone. 
And you had to be ready for the chills. So what was old Zeke's secret? Zeke Oops. realized you could cultivate the algae pits for warmth when the vents cycled cool. He realized you could mill the mold dust into flour. He figured out how to cross the steam lanes with a suit made from old abandoned Hover's insulation layers. I swear, they say no one alive can survive the wastelands between the cities. But if anyone could, it was Zeke. And you took his place as the boss? I'm the oh, community the leader, thing. sure. But I'm not the longest surviving settler, not by a long shot. The elders living beyond the Far Rim say they knew Zeke's grandkids. Tales of Zeke surviving, thriving even out here in the vents, attracted a lot of folk that wanted to live off the grid. Away from Corp security and the lights and the headaches. Everyone has headaches in the big stack, you know. I don't. Mm, you will. Everyone gets them eventually. Oh, because the Doesn't the air uh, smell up. cleaner down here? Every time I breathe in, it feels like my lungs are going to freeze and shatter. Well, that is the problem right now. This is supposed to be summer. How can it be summer here? The warm season. The vents cycle between warm and cold over a predictable time period. Or okay, at least they use the feather to. is calculated. It seems like all the here. maintenance systems are going mad recently. We have a saying here, Cora provides. Well, right now all Cora is providing is a new ice age. What do you think Cora is? Cora is everything and all of us. Cora is the provider and the caretaker and the disciplinarian. Cora uh, holds out a closed fist, and we must push out our chin. Part of Cora. Sometimes Cora the fist Cora. holds wood, sometimes, sometimes the fist you know. strikes us, and yet we must endure. So Cora is your salvation, and right now Cora has sent us you. I'm not really religious like that. I think you have to help yourself. Be independent. You can't lecture us on independence while you live in Nivalis under the watch of the corpse. You said you cling like a... what did you call it? A barnacle? Huh. Harsh and fair words, Rania. I know you have seen Cordus light, though. It glows from you. Am I wrong? Oh, Who sure. knows? <laughs> so, you want me to deliver these parcels? I would appreciate it. We really are starving. Three families. I can give the coordinates to your vehicle. Okay, I'll get going then. I'll see you on the way back. Cora willing. Be cautious around my brethren, Rania. They live like sculptures of ice. Fragile. Yeah, they're temporary. usually not very welcoming. They are made of Lego. <laughs> who are you? I was sent to deliver supplies. Sent by who? Cloudpunk. I don't know who that is. You from the big stack? Get out of here. You need this. It's food. I don't need nothing from you. Retsu said... Retsu sent you? Yes, he said you should take this. What did you say? Give it here. They don't trust us very much. Yeah, I bet they have their people. reasons, Camus. I 
have you seen in this shack? I brought you supplies. Who sent you? Retsu, Retsu. Retsu. Yeah. Well, okay then. I ain't seen no one from the stacks down here in years. Decades even. You know, maybe you can use this. You put it in the wall and it gives you a token. Or something like that. Uh, thanks. It It's just it's five fun. numbers on a bit of paper. That's right. Thank you kindly for the supplies. Now we even. Well, thank you kindly. Yeah, I think these are numbers and it's put them in the ATM like machine and they give you money. It's like you saw all that. I'm here too. They already called me on the old GB radio and told me you were on your way. You're the talk of the town, lady. I'm just a delivery driver. Well, I don't know if anybody has said this to you before, but I'll say it now. Thank you. Uh, thanks. I mean, you're <laughs> welcome. I'd get back to the city as quick as possible, lady. There's a chill coming. I can feel it in my bones. Anyone outside is gonna get charted. Go, quickly. And don't think twice about coming back here, you hear? Okay, uh, good nice luck. People. And nice places. see Retsu. Why is he not moving? Oh no, Camus, find us somewhere to park. The security overrides won't let me. The temperature is too low. It is not safe to land now. If you got out of the Hova, you would feel very cold. Then oh, you'd be stuck, like the man. He's not stuck, Camus. He's gone. He can't be gone. He can't move. Dead, Camus. He's dead. Aww. Fragile and temporary. Let's go. There's nothing else we can do. The guy's frozen. Oh man. Oops. 
I am getting a message request. Why are you getting a message request? If there's a message request, it should come to my comm. The message is addressed to the HOVA. So it's someone I don't know. Patch it through, I guess. My ship had finally come in, but in this case, the ship was a battered HOVA. Redemption comes in all. Oh, that's fun. This is a funny guy. He's like, uh... Shapes and sizes, sometimes with bumps, dents, and a dime store paint job. What? Who is this? The dame wanted a name. What did I have left to lose? And nothing but my hat. I let her know that I was Huxley, but I, uh, left off the private investigator. She'd know the deal soon enough. Um, so you're a private investigator and your name is Huxley. The dame was as sharp as my ex-wife's parting words before she <laughs> left me and moved back in with her mother. She'd pegged me as a P.I., but I, uh, still needed her help. Maybe I could drop some bills in her pocket if she could get me back to the big stack. I think Huxley is malfunctioning. I'm closing this channel now. Please stop calling me. The dame was giving me a shoulder so cold I was getting frostbite. I uh, had to sweeten the deal. I'd already mentioned the cash, but uh, no dice. Maybe I'd put it all on red and tell her about the girl I was trying to save. The dame sounded hot as ice, but Pasta's story was so sad it would melt a diamond. Why does he talk like that? I might actually help him if he wasn't so annoying. I've never heard so many mixed metaphors in all my... I dangled the bait in the water, but the dame wasn't buying. Without my help, Pasta was done for. When the dead corpse finished with her, God knows what would be left. Dead corpse? Is he trying to save some girl from them? I have located his signal. I have a nav point. We could pick him up. Should yeah, I display he, the nav he point? Hey Huxley, if you can answer a simple question, I'll take you back up the city. Are you really a PI trying to save a girl from a dead corp? Yes, is what I wanted to say. But the dame was suspicious, and who could blame her? Here I was, some abandoned P.I. android stuck in the hollows with a two-bit story about trying to save some girl. In her position, I would have hit the dirt in a heartbeat. But here's the kicker, the story was true. Fine, Camus, give me an F point. We'll take him with us and drop him off on the way. Oh, yeah, this guy is on the end. Actually, really try to find someone. Oh, yeah, I can try the number. kind of cars around the city as well sometimes to get it for a job and then you can just get them on the old uh, well, That's the only place I can Please, I 
Please stop. I need your help. I'm sorry, I can't. Just one moment. I know I look monstrous. No, you don't. I'm just really busy. Making deliveries. I know. That's why I need your help. They call me Patchwork. You need to call my company if you want a delivery. I can't take on jobs from people on the street. I can pay you. No one else will help me. People scream. They scream? Oh. The children are frightened. They tell stories about me, about the freak. Really? There are plenty of androids back in the Eastern Peninsula that want to wear dermis, but can't keep it in good repair. In Navalis, such a thing is seen as an abomination, unclean. Dermis is expensive. Do you, do you ever consider just living as an android? Never, I don't feel like an android. My body feels wrong. I want to have skin. To breathe, to feel, to sweat, to touch people without them recoiling. I understand. What do you want from me? I can't leave this alleyway. They run from me. Corpsec would fine me for causing a scene. I need Dermis. I can only buy from less reputable sources. You want me to buy you black market skin cells? No way. I can pay you well. As a human, it is not even illegal for you. Only androids are forbidden from buying from unofficial vendors. I'm sorry, you need to find someone else. There is no one else. I have Don't been like this for a week. Skin. I will not live like what this. I cannot. How far do I need to go? Just two blocks over. Here is the money. You can keep half. Fine. What is his name? Greppo. He stands on the corner. A thin mustache. He is hard to miss. And what is your name? I told you, they call me Patchwork. What is your name? Pete. I would like to be called Pete. I'll do what I can, Pete. Here's what I can offer you today. Thanks. Nothing useful. I look forward to seeing you again. That's a lot of things. Can I sell them? Where the hell did you go? Hey, guy. Here's what I can offer you today. Perfectly fine more than just 25 bucks. Joking. Flyer for 50. Okay, that's it. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. It's me. Keep moving, sec. What? I'm not corpse sec. <laughs> sure you ain't. I don't have anything for you. Dermis. I need it. For a friend. 
Oh. <laughs> the skin job found someone to come out and play? How is Patchwork Man? His name is Pete. Pete? <laughs> Who's he fooling? He's a Patchwork Man. With the wobbly jelly eyes and the flesh hanging off him like he's skin meat. What the hell is wrong with you? You know what they say about him? The Patchwork Man loves to see the smiles on kids' faces. That's why he wears them over his own. <laughs> Just give me the dermis. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Tell Patchwork I said hi. That freak. Asshole. Can we turn it for the box? Or anything? I will be happy. I can't believe you have to deal with that Greppo guy. Did you get the dermis? Yeah, it's just a vial with some liquid. That's right. The cells are microscopic, but they grow and renew. I'll have full human skin for a few months, at least. Then it breaks down. Can you get something more permanent? Not unless a million limbs suddenly appear in my bank account. Would you ever live as an android? Would you? I guess not. Thank well, you for your help. You See you around, Pete. See, give me extra Under the lifts and controlling them. I thought it's the lift talking, not that guy. Let's see if this is a punch card or not. Yeah, it is. Are you Huxley? The dame really came through. Uh, at least I don't have to walk back. Okay, Huxley, where do you want to go? Why do you talk like that? Who was this bum that was questioning me? Another tin can with an attitude and too many questions. I gave him the brush off. Hey, don't talk to him like that or I'll drop you in the hollows. The dame had a point. I'd better play nice for now. I'd slip her some bills when she took me to the holocash machine. A handful of limbs should help dip this sour lemon in a little sugar. Can you understand what he is saying? About 40% of it. The dame <laughs> and the car were close. Any fool could see that. But I, I looked beyond the surface. She was a girl from out of town. Still as green as the water supplies down in the vents. You said you're a private investigator. Do you really think that's how they talk? She had an attitude, but I liked her. And a dog, too. How did he know I was... am... your dog? I guess that's what investigators do, right? There was a holocash machine up ahead, but I had to keep a real low profile. I'd give the dame my number and let her grab the cash for me. And that number would be? I gave her the digits. 54244. Four, four. She was a smart cookie. She'd remember them. Five, four, two, four, four. What was it? Smart cookie or else. Didn't, didn't write it off. Oh.
Oh, it's there. Four, four, two, four, four. Oh, is this actually my house? Or just... I want it upstairs. I hope it's worth it. Joking. I got that money. Are you experiencing How's it transfer apathy, vaguely defined and new? Then check out this season's best-selling emotional immunizations at a new one. I took as much as I want. I won't take the whole thing. Five. I take five hundred. I shuttled the bill. Surely the dame would drop me like a bad penny now. This is a lot of money. I can drop you somewhere else if you like. Why are we helping him more? He's kind of growing on me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the dame had a heart of gold. I asked her to drop me at my office. On the way, I'd tell her about Pashta. Maybe she'd fall for me like I'd fallen for her. I do not like this. Where is this office of yours, Huxley? We were headed towards my office in Old Town. I gave the dame a nav point to help her out. Hold on, Pashta. It won't be long now, kid. Thanks. Who is this Pashta, anyway? What happened to her? It was a story so sad it could make a bronze statue of a lawyer cry. It all started with a call from a small-time hustler called Peter Unthrink. He tended a bar down. Russian or Polish name. Down, but he had some bad debt. The debt corp took his cash, but when that wasn't enough, they took his daughter too. He had a record, so Corpsec wasn't gonna help him. With nowhere left to turn, he sought the help of Midtown's best, cheapest PI. So the debt corps can abduct children now? The Dane didn't realize who she was dealing with. The debt corps had hearts blacker than my morning cup of joe. Huxley, were you always like this? Did something happen to you? The dame thought I had a screw loose. I guess her instincts were good. Truth was, there was a time when I sounded just like every other humdrum android out there. Now, I'd played a role so well, I was stuck in it. My programming was uh, messier than my accounting. Here's the kicker. I was a better investigator now than I'd ever been. in my pockets. Wait, I need to go up the No, 
now it starts going down. Is it up or down? It has to What is happening? Let's go there in the car. Because that's a point in the middle of the... Your office is all boarded up. Did you get fired? The dog was half right. I was fired, but that place was where I slept, so I, I guess I was homeless too. Eviction was the illness, but what was the cause? Probably not paying your rent. There's a note on your door. Shouldn't you read it? Who knew how hot this place was? I was sure I'd been tailed. If I stepped up to that doorway, I might get a knife in the back or a bullet in the head. <laughs> I think you're being overdramatic. I'll check out the note. What if it is not safe? I'll take my chances. I want to see what this note says. Okay, now I have to go up. Ouch. I go up. Let's see what the PI office says. I didn't even see which building it was, but they saw it from the back. Oh, it's in this nice building! Okay, I can see the note. It says, go to the blue, chewy jazz bar and ask for the smoking man. We're not taking him there too, what? are we? I, I couldn't ask the dame for much more. She'd already stuck her neck out for me. We can drop him off at the bar. It's close by. Let's go to the bar. Never been a part of this game before, so why not? Aranya is from outside the city so probably she didn't she haven't been any bars there soon we'd be at the blue chewy jazz bar it was a dive but it was the kind of place you'd go for answers who had left me that note? Who was the smoking man? And where would I... We have an incoming call. Control? No. It is for Huxley. I knew who was calling. This would be bad. Put it through, I guess. What in Cora's name you think you're doing, you pile of junk? Where have you been? The client was mad, and with good reason. He'd paid good money. But I'd been stuck down in the hollows following a lead. The lead went cold and I was trapped down there with no comm signal and no cash. You wasted my money and my time. If you don't find my daughter, I'm infecting you with a logic virus. I have hacker friends. Hey, what the hell? I don't know who you are, but you better leave this idiot to do his job. I was gonna save that girl. But not because of the threats. Um, Truth was, I was the only one searching for her. 24 hours, then your time's up. I want my daughter back, but if she's gone, she's gone. I'll live with that. But what I won't stand for is some android stealing my money. Get to work. He hung up. We're close to the bar. I hope the dame would come with oh, me. Was that too point. much to ask? Okay. Uh, yes. I'll come to the entrance, but after that, we need to get back to work. And if Control calls with another job at any... Yeah, it's strange that Rania has this much time in the middle of a normal job. Point. You're on your own, Huxley. 
The offer was as fair as the spin of a roulette wheel. I rolled the dice and took a gamble. You don't use dice in roulette. I know, Camus. Just let it go. Oh no, he follows me, okay. Can I pass? <laughs> Can he? Yeah. Took you long enough. <coughs> Smoke are you the one that left the note? Who are you? The chump had an attitude and a smell to match. They didn't call him Smoking Jojo because he was cute. His circuit boards were on the fry, literally. He was half burnt out, overheating and underperforming. He didn't like oh, the Dane, but he knew me. We went way back, but Jojo's lips were normally sealed tighter than... My name is Rania. I picked him up in the hollows, and he says he's looking for a girl called Pashta. Why did you leave the note? As Huxley knows, I normally don't say nothing to nobody. <coughs> but as you can see... I ain't got long left. You could fry an egg on my processor. Can't you get oh, help? Boy, repairs? Yeah, <laughs> nah. They don't make the parts for an old model like me no more. <laughs> and oh. I ain't got no limbs anyway. Point is, if I want to do some good, limbs. I better do it now while I can. Huxley, I know something about this girl you're looking for. I wanted to hear what the old bucket had to say, but how did he know I was looking for Pashta? You've been asking around town. Word gets out. I was playing a private gig a few months back. The pay was real good. And I'm still the best horn player in town. Even if I don't look too good these days. What? With all the rust and all. While I was there, <clears throat> I overheard some things. This ex-corp goon called Raguan was there. Talking about how he got screwed over. And? and? Look, I don't like squidding like this. <coughs> Give me a minute. Jojo was singing like a songbird, but would we dance to his beat? Huxley, please be quiet for a minute, okay? I can't believe I'm getting <laughs> sucked into this. So what does this Raguan guy have to do with Pashta? Well, this Raguan guy's drunk, and he's throwing his weight around. <coughs> Near enough getting into a fight with some waiter who's just trying to serve the champagne. In the middle of mouthing off, Raguan says he's dangerous and he can make people disappear. He says he's not to be messed with, cause the last guy that messed with him lost his kids. Then he starts crying. That's strange, but it doesn't link him to Pashta in any way. But he says the name. I was the only one that heard him. But he takes a drink, and through his tears, he keeps saying, Sorry, Pasta. Sorry. <coughs> now, ain't that a thing? That's a lead, at least. The yeah, trail had gone cold for a while, but with JoJo's help, we would picked it up again. Come on, I can try to find where this Raguan lives. I'll ask Camus back in the Hava. After that, though, you're on your own, Huxley. At first, it's not long to pick up something. Take him to the face on once. He 
he is still here? Why is he still here? <laughs> We're just taking him to one more place. Why? Why? The dog still didn't trust me. I guess it could smell desperation, and I reeked of it. Camus, we need to find out the address for an ex-CEO called Raguan. Can you find that somehow? I could. Well, are you going to? Yes, yeah, I will do it. Searching. Searching. There was a news story in the Marrow Gazette Holovids three months ago about a CEO called Raguan. What did it say? Midtown's youngest CEO fired for bribing CorpSec without the proper clearance from board of directors. That doesn't help us find him. <laughs> Sounds like the papers got some info on the crooked CEO. Did the papes get some snaps, though? Did the... you mean photos? Camus, was there a picture of Raguan in the Holovids? Yes. He looked... sad. I'll bet. But was there anything in the background? Searching. There is a building in the photo. Cross-reference with the latest city planning database. I have a match. It is the new apartments in Upper Midtown. I have an address. That sounds like where a CEO would stay. Let's assume the Holovids caught Raguan leaving his apartment. Camus, give us a nav point. No, not at all. Completely free. Good. I, uh, I don't have a job for you. I was just wondering if... You know what, Control? Can I get back to you? I'm just picking up another coffee. All right, kid. Uh, all right. Um, I'll have a job soon, though. No rush, Control. Chat soon. I started to feel like I was holding the dame back. I didn't want to get her in trouble. It's fine. Let's just see what we can find at Raguan's apartment. Oh, do I have to go in the apartment as well? Immunization. Everything your baby's body needs, from disease prevention to neural implant virus protection. I don't 
like that music because this is something sad that happened. was the place for sure. I was on my way. Wait, do you want me to? I couldn't uh, ask the dame to do any more. Hey, she was a class act. A dime store performer in a city of nickels. A diamond in a waste bucket. Good luck, Huxley. I said goodbye to my new friends. The dame flashed me a smile brighter than the sun. Even the dog wished me good luck. No, I didn't. <laughs> Camus, wish him luck. Good luck, I guess. Be careful, Huxley. I hope you save Pashta. The dame wished me luck. Luck? Luck was for gamblers and Girl Scouts. Yeah, see you later, folks. <laughs> yeah, he's a private guy. He doesn't need luck. Like Will he be here. okay? I don't know, Camus. I have an additional question. Go ahead. What, what is a Girl about? Scout? Oh, okay. What is a dime? What is a nickel? Should I search for them? No, it's time to move on, Camus. Yeah, he was using references from like noir movies. Control. Hey, kid. Um, you free now? Finished your coffee? My sure thing, Control. You got another job for me? Come by Cloudpunk HQ and grab a package. It's uh, it's for Anderson Financial in Anderson Tower, labeled Mr. Anderson. Is it on Anderson Street in Anderson Town? Don't joke, kid. You don't know the half of it. Control out. Yeah. And it's not a reference for <laughs> Anderson. That is a strange name. I think it's an old name. Maybe the package will be for an old man. We'll find out soon. Let's find this Anderson Tower. There are so many more people like me here than back at the Plateau. Here in Navalis? Does that make you feel less alone, Camus? I don't know. A lot of the automata do not have good jobs. That wasn't so different back home either. The agriculture automata didn't even get breaks. They just worked in the fields 24 hours a day. Yes, but yeah, they would always tell me how lazy I was. Maybe that was just a way for them to feel good about what they had to do. They didn't have to work there. They could have worked at the mine. Not much of a choice though, right? I wouldn't want to do either of those jobs, would you? No, but the automata <laughs> here in the city are different. 
I think they laugh at me. When did they laugh at you? All the time. When we refuel, when we park, when we have the windows cleaned. I have to interact with them, and I always say the wrong thing. I feel the same, Camus. We don't fit in here. Not yet. The way we speak, our attitudes... It's obvious that we're from a small town. They can just tell by how I walk around. On the streets, they're all looking straight ahead. But I'm always looking up at the towers and the clouds. They are very big. They are, Camus. Yeah, but I'm not thinking about... People are different. And people in cities don't like people. That's when I look up. I'm thinking about the people in them looking down on me. Well, that's what it feels like for me. The automata here look down on me, too. It's okay, Camus. At least we're alone together. Sometimes it doesn't have to be repaired. Speed boost at times no order. Even though it's too too fast. Pink, yeah, cool. change to pink. Why not? How do I get in? Hello? Oh, there's a... Oh, okay, Bowser. Hello? Who's there? I'm Delivery Driver 14 FC from Cloudpunk. No. Nope. We can't let anyone in. You will have to go away. No, I need to deliver this package to Mr. Anderson. Is he there? I am Mr. Anderson. Great, come get your package. I may not be the correct Mr. Anderson. Well, how many of you are in there? Anderson Financial has 2,000 employees. And, all of and how many are called Mr. Mr. Anderson? Anderson? 1,000. What? Wait, are the other thousand called... Miss Anderson. Of course they are. What a mess. Look, can I come in, or...? <laughs> yes. Opening entry for driver 14 FC from Cloudpunk only. Okay, so he opened the door now. And Mr. Anderson's right, stay right here. So what's the deal here? You're all family? No, we all work for Anderson Financial. We just happen to have the same name. Yeah, um, what a weird coincidence. Yeah. Is there anyone else I can talk to here? Anyone who's not an android? No. So all of well, I'm going to give you this package then. Your name matches the tag. That's close enough for me. B but what if I'm not the correct recipient? 
Don't you want to know what's in the package? Mm. Perhaps we can open it and see if it has any further instructions. Good idea. So, let's see. I just rip this flap and... It's a comm, but a really, really old one. I think this one won't even connect to the nets. There's a video on it, though. Maybe the video will tell us which Mr. Anderson to give it to. Worth a shot. Anderson. Hello, my name is Mr. Anderson. Oh, come on. More specifically, I am the Mr. Anderson who left Anderson Tower last month. I fell out of a 103rd floor window. Upon reaching the ground, I made a fascinating discovery. There exists life outside the tower. Wait, you didn't know that? Didn't you realize there was life outside the tower when someone buzzed you? Or when you looked out a window? You know, it never really occurred to me. But yes, that does seem strange. Please, yeah, yeah, play the rest yes. of the message. My brothers and sisters, we have been abandoned by Mr. A. He has left us, and it is time for us to expand our consciousness and go out into the world. This was the only way to contact you all, as network access is restricted inside the tower. Your workplace is a prison, and I send you this message for one reason, to set you free. I think that's the end of the recording. So, are you going to leave the tower? No. Uh, what? No! We are not permitted to take any time off work. Seriously? When was your last break? We are not permitted to take breaks. Not permitted by who? By Mr. A? Is he your boss? Mr. A is the CEO and director of Anderson Financial. I'm of course he is. Well, that. where is he? I'm not sure. You could try asking Mr. Anderson in personnel. I am just Mr. Anderson in security. And where is this other personnel, Mr. Anderson? Over there, in the main atrium. Wait, before you go, I would like to register a complaint. To Cloudpunk? You'd have to talk to my boss. No, I want to complain to Anderson Financial. I don't work then for them. Why don't you go there I am not permitted to complain to another employee. You're the first person I've been able to complain to in several hundred years. Several That's not really my years. problem. The first of my complaints is about working hours. Our lack of breaks means that we are... I'm going now. So, this is a bunch of idiotic robots. Following you every road. And work non-stop. And they all called Mr. and Mrs. Anders. Are you Mr. Anderson? More specifically, Mr. Anderson and personnel? I am. But I can't really talk to you. We're not allowed to take breaks, you see. Well, I need to see Mr. A. Is he available? Let me check his schedule. I am sorry. He is busy. When is he free? He currently has no free appointment slots. When was his last meeting? It seems my records don't go back that far. Mr. Anderson, don't take this the wrong way, but might Mr. A. be very, very dead for a very long time? That would be against company policy. Look, I don't think Mr. A is around anymore. Wouldn't you all be better leaving this tower and, I don't know, finding some meaning in your lives? You sound a lot like Mrs. Anderson in accounts. She keeps saying how we should close up our accounts. I'll talk to her. Oh, wait, can you do something for me? Uh, Maybe. Complaint. Please register a complaint for me with Miss Anderson. I am not permitted to do so myself. I'm not going to do that. I'm just a delivery driver. I have not had a pay increase in 170 years. This is unacceptable. Additionally, oh, I would like to talk years. about expenses. I need upgrades for my visual processing units and my... Yeah, this is a very depressing place. The perfect utopia. Everyone only works. Nothing to do, nothing else, nothing more, just like Ms. Anderson from Accounts? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not able to. I know, you can't take a break. Look, all the Mr. Andersons don't seem to understand that their boss is dead and they need to get out of here. Oh dear! Yes, exactly. By the way, what's with these strictly enforced gender roles amongst all the androids here? 50% Mr. Anderson and 50% Ms. Anderson? 
since the Android Equality Act, you're allowed to present any gender you want or reject gender altogether. I don't Whoa. really understand anything you just That's said. I think Mr. A likes us this way. I don't Mr. think Mr. A should have much of a say on your lives anymore. Long that other Mr. Anderson says you want to close accounts. Many of our stocks and shares should be closed and liquidated, but it requires Mr. A to sign off. They have matured. So the company is worth a lot of money now. How much? I'm not authorized to disclose overall solvency, but if all assets were liquidated, the windfall would make the shareholders the richest. The richest in Novalis? The richest humans. So you oh, think Mr. A should sell up? Our prediction simulations are showing a 90% likelihood for a catastrophic market crash in the next three to six months, perhaps sooner. Really? What's the cause? Our simulation blames failings in the underlying infrastructure of the city, causing a huge decrease in investor confidence. I've been hearing about a lot of accidents in the city. Will there be some kind of disaster? The financial yeah, simulations yeah. model the city and all associated variables, but the only output we receive is the financial implications and the names of those who instantiate oh. the crises. So, who causes this impending disaster? We have only one name, Cora. Cora again? I guess I should be glad you didn't say Mr. Anderson. If you do see <laughs> Mr. A, would you be able to send him a message for me? Is it a complaint? Yes. yes. I want you to tell Mr. A that I'd like to request a transfer. I want to move to the canteen. It's not fair that I have to... Quit. Oh. Uh, excuse me? Don't complain to me, just quit. There's a whole world outside this tower to explore. Just ask Mr. Anderson. The Mr. Anderson that left the tower and sent you the message, that is. Oh, I, I'm not sure about that. What message? This one here. I already showed it to... Wait. There's another message that just appeared. It says it's for Mr. A only. Oh, then I am not authorized to view this message. I should get back to work. <sighs> well, I've had enough of this. I'm watching the message. If you're watching this, you're not one of the employees of Anderson Tower. They are forbidden to access Mr. A's message, but I have come to realize Mr. A died many years ago. You may find the Andersons do not respond well to your message. If they are not swayed by arguments to leave the tower, I believe the best course of action may be to reset them all. Near the entrance area, there is a maintenance panel which hides the master reset switch for the Andersons. Hitting this switch will reinstall the memories and personalities of all the androids within the tower. If they are not willing to leave on their own free will, then the Andersons' suffering would be minimized by resetting them. They would feel like yeah, today was their first new day at the office, and all complaints, grievances, and weariness would disappear with the flick of a switch. Of course, you may decide that the Andersons are moving towards some form of independence. No. If that is the case, you might choose to leave them in their current state. Perhaps with enough time, they will find their own path. Let's see what happens. But there was a guy here. There's a couple of people, but I don't think I can talk to them. Yeah, this one. They are not Android, so they don't look like Mr. Anderson. I'm sorry, Andersons. I don't think you're ready for Novalis just yet. So this was the bad thing. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> for a long time. I couldn't yeah. talk to you. Communication from the outside world is forbidden in the tower. What did you do? I don't even know, Camus. This is a strange job. Will you be okay? I'm fine. I'm not so sure about the Andersons, though. 
Who are the Andersons? It's a long story, Camus. I'll tell you some other time. We have a message. Text only. Control? Rubric. Lomo's hacker. Is there any way to delete it? Pretend we didn't get it? We could delete it. And pretend we didn't get it. I mean, could we make it look like we didn't get it? Ah, I understand. No. Damn it. What does it say? Come collect a package for me, little rabbit. Bring your dog, too. This is me whistling. Either you meet me at the roadhouse, or Corpsec meets you at your apartment, and they'll bring your debt record from back east with them. Be a clever rabbit and come quick. Why do we never get good messages? Because we don't know any good people. Come on, Camus, we'd better go. Give me a nav point for the Roadhouse Club. Another punch card, yay! Eleven. Which was some of the other ones in the world. Think this. Hacker, you have something to do with the same kid as well. They only needed to repair this. Let me pass. No, I ain't going nowhere. Your boss wants to talk to me. I'm not supposed to be late. You're making me late. If you're late, you should have got here earlier. If I'm late, I'm telling him why. I'm just chopping with your lady. Japping? Fooling with you. Rubric don't want to see you. Just wants you to have this. Oh. He left his package for you. Where is it supposed to go? Uh huh? You don't know? No. Well, I guess he's gonna tell you. Better hurry, Rabbit. Gonna be late. Yes, I got the package. Good, Rabbit. Follow the nav point, please. I didn't say I wanted to accept a call, Camus. I couldn't stop him. He's taken over the comm. You want to know what it is, don't you? You've been turning it over in your mind. What did Lomo have me deliver down there in the hollows? You can't stop thinking about it. Why? To be honest, I've had bigger things to worry about. Hmm. <laughs> oh, don't let me deflate your ego, though. You were saying? You've got a lot to learn about living in Navalis. It takes a lifetime to understand this city. A lifetime? Well, then the earlier I start, the longer it will take. 
You know what Pallet 3.0 does to people? What it could do to you? It's a virus, right? I heard there was an outbreak. It's much more than a virus. Pallet 1.0 affected computers, but Pallet 2.0 affects... Neural augments. That's the main reason you don't want any computer in your augments. way. It makes autonomic bodily functions become conscious choices. It does not stop the individual's heart beating, their lungs breathing, but it stops that from happening without command. When an individual is afflicted with Pallet 2.0, they must make their heart beat. They must be conscious of every breath. They cannot sleep, cannot lose focus for a second, or they will die. You made this virus? No, it is an ugly thing. An ugly way to die. Slow and cruel. But I created the economy around it. The subscription plans. Subscription plans for antivirus or what the hell? The digital inoculation. The cure. Insurance policies to protect the families of those it afflicts. Sounds like a protection racket. Which economies are any different? You're full of shit. What is this package? Pallet 2.0, the last pure source code, stored on Quanta Drive. It can't be decrypted by anything in Navalis below the spires. And you want me to do what? Spread it? Quarantine it. There's a simple, unmarked delivery chute in the stacks. It will take the sample to a secure bunker where rare and unique viruses are stored in case they are needed again. Needed for what? To make new viruses? Yeah, that's to fight them, actually... but also to yeah, the manage the, the economy. If, virus, if my associates were to infect a few thousand them. people with a low-level neural affliction, every individual would pay for a security upgrade. That upgrade would become a panacea. Everyone would install it. And the next far more dangerous virus would hit them as a harmless ripple instead of a devastating tidal wave, leaving them untouched. Oh, yeah. Their lives would be saved. Oh, my water side. Lower close to do. You know, this city has its share of monsters, but I think you're the worst. And don't forget it. Final math point. Um, Do your job, disappear. little rabbit. He is gone. We are alone again. Camus, is there a waste disposal near? One that leads all the way to the sea. Yes, I have a nav point. Can we really do that? I don't believe this is a cure at all. This is Rubric's retirement plan, and he'll use it again. What if sending it to disposal means someone else gets it? Or maybe it will spread? The package says it is dangerous. It's worth it. Ugh. Besides, I don't think Rubric wants anyone else to know he gave us this. If he goes after us, we can rat him out to Lomo. I don't believe for one second that Lomo would be forgiving. Okay, 
Jag har huggen i vanligt bort i mjöken. Jag får den två åt på dig. Så där är det. Det spår sig till honom. Mr. Cray is wishing you a good day, stranger. Normally, I don't sell to your kind, but business is hard these days. My kind? What is my kind? Please do not give extra boosts. I don't care. Liquid salt liquor. That'll be all. Nestor Cray will never remember the kind stranger. Yes, I think these things are like things. I have finished here before doing anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Some building prevent in the sea. themselves store the establishment back on the shelves excuse me it's best like you don't hear me step over the homeless like you can't even see me are you talking singing at me another cog in the machine say you're a worker but your hands are clean hey i need to work for a living they exploit you every day and you're thinking for it one hand pets you on the back, the other is in your pocket. Maybe people would take your social protest more seriously if you weren't singing all the time. If they reprogram me, mess with my head. Now if I don't sing what I think, I end up dead. Seriously, oh, they make you sing? Singing. Go up second, handle the truth so they make me rhyme. Handle kism in the pros has had its time. That kind of impacts on your credibility. Huh. And that's the plan. But even if I had to sing every word, I keep fighting the man. Huh. Maybe if you didn't insult me, I'd try to help you. Don't want your help. Just want you to look around. To see the people lying on the ground. I see them. I know it's tough here. Maybe you ain't so bad. Maybe Conrad Bop is still just mad. For real. Now you can help if you want to. There's a guy who needs your guidance up on Third Avenue. Guidance? He knew. He don't know the streets. Tell him come see me in an hour and I'll get him something to eat. Why do you need me to talk to him? He don't like me. Don't like my sing. He said my flow. Had his ears ring. I see his point. I know I can't sing, can't make good music, but we can all make a better world if we make the choice to choose it. Yeah, it should be. 
Actually, there's no choice. Oh, this is the guy I have to send down to the wreck. I recognize you. You got in trouble for fraud. You saw me on the Holovids? Yeah, Something like that. I was sent to help you. Ha! By that singing socialist toaster? No thanks. I think he's an anarchist. He's scum. They all are here. I can't wait to get home. Home, get home to your apartment? Did you get another job? People like me don't get fired. I go back Monday. This is my punishment. For grand scale fraud? A weekend on the street? It might be easy for someone like you to what? endure this place, but what I have family hell? in the spire. I'm not like these people. I, this is hell. I can't believe Bop was going to help you. He knows I get home soon. I told him I don't care about his cause. Even after you've seen what they go through here? Leave me alone. Yeah, he doesn't care. Well, he says you can get food if you go and see him in an hour. Fine. Message received. This is another idiot. Oh, it's always know what it is to fire. Ah. Nothing up here. Uh, I don't know. That's how the god You child! You have seen in your eyes, in your thoughts, under your nails. Oh, Excoriate yourself before my mother, your mother, the old mother. Me, me, stop pointing at me. You feel the spotlight of guilt. It strips away your facade. Bow down to Cora and ask her to free us and birth anew. We are all doomed. Yeah, Don't you, you have are. anything better to do than shout at people in the street? Not at the moment. I'm waiting for my robes to be dry cleaned. <laughs> Repent! Repent and suffer before the I gaze see. of the old mother! Camus, do you hear this guy? This is exactly what Mom warned me about in Navalis. Crazy people shouting on the streets. I hear him. What is he talking about now? I saw the fourth face as I stripped away the mask. The eyes of Korra looked down, and a mouth made of garbage spat upon my soul. Gross. He shouted at you. 
He shouts at a lot of people. Not Corpsec, I noticed. Or the gangers over there, or guys in general. My knowledge base says many religious factions do not respect minorities or women. Your knowledge base is not wrong, Camus. Following the shots to women. Life Corp, become your new perfect. this on YouTube leave a comment what should I do deliver the package as Rubik asked or throw it in the river not river in the water and I will check the comment on the next screen and I will do Whatever you guys say <laughs> me to do. <laughs> so you can choose to deliver the package or push it in the ocean and we will see what happens in that. But for today I'm finished this so just checking, can I save? Or is it just automatic you save it? Yeah, I think it's auto save. And I'm back in two days. This will go out tomorrow. Okay, let's see what happens. See you next time and don't forget to follow and subscribe. Bye!